Okay. Do you see it well? Again, this is what pulmonary parenchyma. It is observed well. Now the alveoli are clear. They are not filled with anything or any type of fluid on the inside. Yet there is evident hyperemia here, which might be observed in the alveolar septi. And what is important here to see are also very well observable bronchus here. Take a look at the respiratory epithelium, which is ciliated, which is not desquamated here inside in the lumen of the bronchus, which was before. Some small amounts, that's the well-preserved basement membrane some smooth muscle cells which are at the usual circle bounding the bronchi, all of the bronchial actually structures. And here what we observe changed is how the alveoli are looking like. As far as you can see, the alveolar septi are disturbed. What is the question now? Dilated, yes, very well. Dilated, and in most of the places, as far as you can see, they're even interrupted. Thinner, yes, and they sometimes actually are smashed. They stop connect the connection with the cells, they're interrupted. And some alveolar spaces are connected with neighbor ones so that the alveoli are appearing larger. Take a look at this field here. This one is also very well observed as a change. Alveolar spaces appear much larger because of the interrupted integrity of the alveolar septi. That is due to changes in the lungs, which we know as what? Emphysema, great. Now, what the professor is going to ask you here is what the emphysema is connected to. Majorly, you should mention smokers, also people that are having uh, chronic obstructive pulmonary disease, smoking, yes, also alpha-1 antitrust trypsin deficiency, different types of <laughs> emphysema, which you should know well as classification from your textbook. Take a look at the lecture of the professor. He was very detailed when he explained emphysema uh, that was at the first semester of clinical pathology. So I think this classification for emphysema will be enough for you. Specifically, on the field of pulmonary parenchyma, which is suffering emphysema changes, what we'll observe will be histologically pretty much the same. What is important for the classification is the gross appearance, the age of the patient, whether it was an inborn change or it was acquired or it was in elderly people observed, which usually happens, or it was um, some other due to eventually connected with chronic bronchitis change. This might be the object of your attention when you prepare yourself for studying for this question from the perspective. So that's pretty much what we observe on this type of slide. It's an easy one, as you can see it. Well recognizable pulmonary structures. What is this thing here? Hmm. Take a look at this vessel here. What is this thing? Inside. This yellowish structure here is pretty much looking like fibrin. There is plasma, but there is also erythrocytes and some small portions of inflammatory cells. Yes, this might be a formation of a thrombus. So it's well observed here. Next to it, what is this structure? What is this thing that you're observing here? 
starp shaped lumen, no erythrocytes on the inside. Bronchial, great amount, bronchial. What is this thing here? Which I'm showing you now. Wake up, boy. Wake up, guys. That's no. <laughs> Hemosiderin should be found next to erythrocytes when they are filling the alveolar spaces. It's not anthrax. Recording <laughs> pigment. It's not anthrax. Anthrax is I repeat over and over again it's a disease that is infectious it's having three forms it is spread through spores and it's not having anything to do with anthracotic pigment which is carbon particles floating in the air and being inhaled by people who accumulate them in the bronchiolar wall or in the septi of the alveoli they're appearing blackish black Take a look at this pigment. The only thing blacker than this one is the melanin. So, any other field on this slide that might not be clear? Alveoli, emphysema, interruption of the septi, Further, vessels with hyperemia. Take a look at each vessel which should be situated next to a bronchus. Small bronchiola and then a vessel here. Again. Okay. Here, small portions of hyperemia. Here, the emphysema becomes more severe with larger alveolar spaces formed. And here again, peripheral accumulation of anthracotic pigment. Pay attention on the idea that when there is emphysema on a certain field, the anthracotic pigment disappears from this field. It's also very interesting as a fact because there is no specific place where it could be attached. So finally, it's disappearing on the histological slide at least, not from the lungs, unfortunately. Okay, is there anything unclear about this slide? 